Stay tuned for the video of the core we're making. Zucchine alla scapesce, ricetta napoletana. Look at the colors of Mother Nature. Hello everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Look at this, zucchini and mint. We're going to make zucchine alla scapesce. It's a side dish that I grew up with. Simple, delicious, so reminds me of my nonna. The trick to this recipe is that you need a sunny day. And I have a funny story. I've been trying to get this recipe to you for the last three weeks. Every time I get the zucchine, I slice them up, put them in the sun, a thunderstorm comes. So now on, if you guys need rain, make this recipe, you'll see you'll get thunderstorms in your area. Uh, let's get started and you'll see how simple and delicious it is. Okay. For this recipe, the best zucchini are the ones that are slightly larger, not those big ones that are ginormous, uh, but these ones. You see, it like this is a, a fairly smaller one. This is a little bit larger. So first thing we're going to do is trim. Uh, I'm going to do it a little bit on a slant because I like to cut it almost like you cut salami. Uh, a little bit on a slant, trim the top. I'm sorry, the bottom, the top, whichever way is easy. Okay, and just what you want to do, you want to cut, cut rounds in about one-eighth of an inch. Don't need to go super thin because uh, then, they, then they're just too thin. You want a little bit of consistency to that. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to slice up. You see the way it's on the slant? Take a look at the size of it. Cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. Just go ahead and just lay all the zucchini rounds like this. Get them clo as close as possible because once they release the water, they do shrink. So you want to use up all the space. A little salt sprinkled on. Not too much. Very little. Just a little sprinkling. Now, for those of you that don't believe me, let's go outside and look if there's any sun. Okay, let's look for the sun. Where's the sun? All dark clouds. Okay, so we're gonna lay these outside and be careful that it doesn't rain, but I already uh, made them this morning, so I have a, a batch ready to go. Okay, I want you to come closer because these I did about 30 minutes ago. You see all the water that's coming out of them? That's perfect. Um, and of course, on the parchment paper so they don't stick. Now, once they dry, you can leave them in the sun, depending on the temperature, depending how um, the humidity, but this is what you want. You see, it's nice and dry, like that. That's Cups of frying oil. Uh, canola, vegetable, sunflower, peanut oil, and you could also use olive oil. Not extra virgin, but the olive oil would be great for this recipe. Now bring it up to about 350 and let's get the zucchini fried. You see how quickly they fry and that's because there is no water in them. This goes fairly quickly, so remove the cooked ones and just keep adding more. Plenty of fresh mint in the garden. It grows wild. It's really easy to keep. Now it's going to all come together. The zucchini, uh, white wine vinegar, you can use red wine vinegar. Not basa really not an uh, excellent combination with the balsamic. Extra virgin olive oil, some garlic, up to you, and the mint, and I like a little heat, so I'm gonna do some uh, pepper flake, hot pepper flakes. So let's start. Um, you could, maybe with a paper towel, dab a little bit the, uh, the fried zucchini so you remove the excess oil, 
and let's just add the first layer at the bottom of your serving plate. layer them like this I'm going to slice my garlic in you could also mince it red chili flakes I wash I rinse the uh, the mint pull it the opposite way so it pulls right off the stem mint right in drizzle of extra virgin olive oil time for the vinegar now proceed with the next layer actually I am going to taste one because remember we did put the salt at the beginning but I want to make sure that it's enough salt otherwise add a little salt perfecto perfecto y delicioso Okay, let me continue on. Now layer it again, and again, the garlic, the hot chili flakes, and the vinegar and the oil. And here we have it, zucchine alla scapisce. Now, a little, a little something about this. Uh, let them sit at least a couple hours. They'll taste even better tomorrow they'll taste even better than today so be patient you'll see and then unfortunately when they, they really taste its best they're going to be gone uh, make these recipes share them with your family and loved ones typical neapolitan side dish grazie arrivederci no wait wait wait, wait. We're, no 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 we're not going i gotta taste it wait 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 no 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 we're not going anywhere we gotta taste this oh really really delicious Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button. You guys know what to do. Grazie, arrivederci, alla prossima. Ciao, ciao.